let's talk about something you probably should know, Roth IRAs. So, I'm Nate, I'm the Fit Future MD. Shop at InsurCell.com. Pick yourself up a cool, inspirational t-shirt today. If you're interested, use code FITFUTUREMD for 20% off. You can also find my wife's book up there, London in the Googly Goo. It's a great book if you have children, and I think you would really like it. So go to InsurCell.com and pick that up as soon as you can. So, <clears throat> in this video, we're going to kind of talk about uh, investing for retirement, or they call it saving for retirement. It's not saving, right? Saving goes into a bank account and stays in a bank account as cash, right? That's saving. We're investing for retirement, right? We're So we're taking our money and we're purchasing assets for our retirement, right? So things that pay you every month, right? Or every quarter, right? So what is a Roth IRA? A Roth IRA is a post-tax investment account that grows tax-free like that's the key to this thing is that everything in that Roth IRA grows tax-free right so you can put up to seven thousand a year right now into in there right so seven thousand a year for ten years is seventy thousand right seventy thousand dollars at eight percent interest rate eight percent uh, return on your investment over 40 years you know, you're good. That's a big time savings in taxes, right? Because you paid taxes on seventy thousand, and you made over a million dollars, right, on that seventy thousand after forty years. <clears throat> so that's really where the power of a Roth IRA is, right? How come so many people don't use a Roth IRA? Well, number one, you the reason most people use an in, uh, investment account is to get rid of their taxes, right? So. A traditional IRA or a 401k or anything like that gets rid of your taxes, right? So, you know, so most people use their 401k or a traditional IRA so they can lower their tax burden, right? But the problem with that is, is that, you know, that just defers the taxes, right? So, you, you know, we all believe that if the government is $37 trillion in debt, that you know, eventually the the bank's gonna come on its money and, uh, you know, taxes are gonna go up basically to pay for that stuff, right? <clears throat> you know, so this is why, what makes the Roth IRA so powerful, especially in retirement, because they tax you on your social security money. They tax you on the IRA money that you pull out of your account, right? Like just pure craziness in my opinion like you've worked 40 years you put into the system for four years you still got to pay taxes right so that's what makes the roth ira so powerful right now what's crazy about a roth ira which cool from my perspective is that you know you don't necessarily have to be invested in mutual funds like a 401k or uh traditional iras that you do through a job or something like that, right? Uh, like the 401k basically puts you in mutual funds and you can't choose which stocks you take, right? They just got you kind of in a fund, right? <clears throat> so imagine for a second that you, you know, decide to follow like IPOs, initial public offerings, right? And you just so happen, you know, back in the day to pick up Tesla, you know, for $10 a share, say you got $100 worth, 10 shares, right? You know, Tesla went from that $10, you know, all the way up to multiple thousands of dollars, right? With your 10 shares. And so all that growth would have been tax-free in a Roth IRA. <clears throat> now, what are the negatives of Roth IRAs? Well, it's the same thing as any other retirement account, right? You can't touch it to your 59 and a half, right? So you get in a financial bind. You can't say, oh, well, let me get this dividend payment and help me out this month, right? So that's why I'm really a big fan of traditional brokerage accounts, right? Um, you know, I realize that most people are going to need uh, the 401k or the, 
you know, they would they would just spend their money, right? If they didn't have some some kind of deterrent, right? <clears throat> but for me, I'm I like a traditional brokerage account because I can say, oh, the market's about to crash. I uh, like I can see the market's going down today, or it's gone. You know, I can sell it right now and buy it back later, right? Or you know, obviously those are taxable events. Um, and when you're playing with millions of dollars, you know, then that's a big deal. But when you're only playing with ten or twenty thousand dollars, it's really not a big deal to have a taxable event, right? Um, you know, especially if it's long-term capital gains, right? It's nothing, right? And you, if your market's going to go down fifty percent and you pay taxes on twenty, you know, it's a, it's definitely a, you know, you're definitely coming out ahead, right? But that keeping that in mind. You know, I like regular brokerage accounts a lot too, but but the Roth IRA is so powerful because of the tax-free growth, right? Um, and we want to take advantage of that. Now, you may not be able to take advantage of seven thousand dollars worth, but if you could do a thousand, if you could do a hundred, five hundred, they say that hundred, you know, could be ten thousand dollars in Tesla, right? If you do an IPO investing, right? not just traditional S&P 500 investing. And they say, oh, it's so hard to beat the S&P 500 every year. Like, yeah, those are great companies. And yes, most of your portfolio should be in, in you know, in the great companies out there, right? But you're going to take a little bit of a risk too, right? And go with something that, you know, could grow to the moon, right? Uh, Peloton right now is a great example. It's going through the roof. You know, and it's just, it's a recent IPO as well. So, um, you know, Beyond Meat has done really well. Zoom did really well. Um, you know, there's a lot of examples of things that if you had had it in a Roth IRA, you're basically paying no taxes on that stuff. Also, what's really cool about Roth IRA is that you can buy and sell without paying taxes in there too, right? So it kind of gives you that. So like uh, the reason people do ETFs and index funds is because they can buy and sell those index funds and not pay taxes on the on the stuff, right? So same thing with your Roth IRA. You can buy and sell inside your Roth IRA and not pay taxes on what you bought and sold, right? So, you know, keep that in mind too. Uh, but these are the reasons that you, sh you know, that I have a Roth IRA, right? Um, like I say, there's not a crazy amount in there. I'm not doing this, the max and the 7,000 a year. Maybe I should. You know, like I say, I like bro regular brokerage account, regular brokerages, brokerage accounts. I like regular brokerage accounts <laughs> for for most of my investing, right? Because I want access to my money, right? I want to be able to say, oh, I need to borrow six million dollars, and I'm gonna put up my my stocks as collateral, you know, and they can take it and put it in a little brokerage account, give me the six million at two percent interest, one percent interest. You know, very tiny amounts of interest. Um, but that's a different video, right? That's that's uh, investing like the rich, right? <laughs> but um, but a Roth IRA is a very powerful tool, especially for normal people, to get that growth without paying taxes on it, and uh, you know, not being broke and destitute when you're retired, right? Because let me tell you, like, you know, especially if you're young right now, you're sitting in your t teens and twenties. You know, when you hit 30 years old, some kind of switch happens and your body just starts de starts deteriorating, right? When you hit 40, 50, 60, it, it, does, it gets worse, right, over time. Um, obviously, there's people out there that make a, their huge living on, you know, saying, oh, we can make you better, right? That's what they do. But really, they don't ever get you even back to where you were at, right, in the first place, in your 20s, right? So... Keep that in mind that, you know, say you work with your hands, eventually your hands don't work as good. You know, you work with your mind, eventually your mind goes away too. So keep that in mind, um, you know. And so the, the way it's supposed to go, right, um, as far as investing for retirement, it goes Roth IRA, Roth IRA max it out. 401k to the match, then traditional IRA. I go Roth IRA, 401k to the match, 
regular brokerage account for myself. Um, and that's just how I do it. Not financial advice. I'm Nate. I'm a Fit Future MD. Shop at insercell.com. Pick up a cool inspirational t-shirt today. Share the video with somebody that needs it. Let's get you investing for your retirement tax-free. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.